Uh, hey guys, um, Lord of Flames here, and I'm not not very happy at all. Not because of my channel, what probably not because of what I'm doing anything, but this this company, the FATC, happened like yesterday or two days ago. Um, this happened to every YouTuber's videos. Because there's a thing about having YouTube a kid's website with every kid's video and entertaining for kids only. What? Look, um, it's about these parents want to keep their kids safe from these languages or any videos and sometimes they want this website or all website to be kids friendly. Like for Nick, Nick Tunes or Cartoon Network or any other channels on TV as well. But what? What's going on? I knew this year is going to be worse than I thought. Like I'm on this website right now, as still about the YouTube's new kids content system has creators scrambling about the the. FETC or the for what they call the COPPA like C-O-P-P-A for what they match with it but here I'm gonna read it on Tuesday afternoon your YouTube formally announced its plan to have creators label any videos of their that may appeal to children starting in January 2020 if creators market video as direct at kids data collection will be blocked for all viewers resulting in lower ad re revenue and those videos will lose some of the platform's most popular features including comments and end screens it's a major change in how YouTube works and how has left some creators clueless as to whether they are subject to the new rules Reached by The Verge, Google confirmed that this new system was the result of the landmark one <laughs> 170 million dollar settlement YouTube reached with the Federal Trade Commission in September for a legality well allegedly violently children's privacy it's the largest fine ever collected under the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act COPPA which forbids collecting data from children under the age of 13 without explicated concepts from their parents. In this case, the ruling means YouTube can't apply its powerful ad targeting system on anyone who might be under the age of 13. A dire problem for a platform with so many young users. Okay, I'm not going to continue reading this, but I'm going to talk for you right now. See this, folks? Children's Online Privacy Protection Act is now going to change YouTube. I don't like it, folks. I don't like it. I know you folks don't like it. All of you people. But the parents do. Even the kids, I guess. I don't know. But if I have a feeling that none, if you, any of you kids who were a big fan of me are going to not going to watch all my videos to this very day. Because I'm, <laughs> they made that update already on upload that you had to make which one you had to choose if it's these videos for kids or this channel is for kids or not. If not, none of you kids are not going to watch any of my videos or anything. It would be difficult and I'm sorry I had to do it. I had to say no because who knows that might happen if they just do something for end screens or <laughs> I'm not thinking about myself or anything. Because I don't know what happened if YouTube might try to remove my video or they want me or force me and the other YouTubers to do so many kid stuff. I only did one for once as the Monster Hunt fan film to make things a little bit funny for once. But I'm still a little bit of horror stuff, folks. Alright? Well, I'm much only doing a little bit of action stuff to this new year now. But still, um... I don't know, folks. I don't know. Because... That parents want this way, it's they do something different, and I don't know how the dark rain they're playing back on our video or get dumber or the rest of the other YouTubers I know or anyone else like you.
if the We Are Awesome Van of Padilla and uh, the Dark films, we might make any videos about that too, and probably all of us, even Markiplier and the rest. Because I have a feeling if this happened next year in January, if this really does going to happen, I may not going to be on YouTube forever, folks. Because I've been doing this for three years. If this will be, then who knows? If I might, if I stop being in YouTube, I might find another website that is, is much like YouTube, but something else. If it doesn't get taken away or change it to kids' website either. either. <sighs> Sorry, but I, I, I don't know because I don't know how Mr. Rick Kruger will feel about this way. Because who knows? None of you folks either. You don't like this. I don't like it. All of us don't like it, but the parents do like it. Because, of course, they want to keep their kids safe. But what about the kids? They're a big fan of us. They will miss all of our videos, you know? It's really difficult. Because those kids are really a big fan of us, and they're going to miss all of our new videos or anything. If, well, probably all, because they made another setting they want to make our channels as kids channel or not. Because this happened to Doggo, a bed Ryan, and the rest. And they said they're going to maybe leave YouTube forever. And probably me as well. Of course, what any of, of course, all of you folks don't want me to leave. Since you want to see me make new videos and wait for more movies I'm working on. Yeah. Like, I've been, it's not like I've been doing this for three years or anything, but... <sighs> Just, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure what to say, but, <sighs> I have feeling, I don't know if the, all the YouTubers we all know are trying to against this, this, this verge of PTC or thing, don't want it to happen, but they're ignoring them, they always win every time, and it keeps doing it, keeps winning, like how Disney is. <laughs> Because imagine if Disney would might own YouTube and make it as Disney Tube without calling YouTube, but rather Disney Tube. It would make things much worse. Imagine. Oh well, let me read more. The new system is already sending creators railing over what exactly is considered kids content and what could happen if they untotally mislabel videos. Some of the YouTube's most popular categories falls into a gray area for the policy, including gaming videos, family vlogging, and toy reviews. Creators are being held directly responsible by the FETC Dan Airly, who reviews collectible toys on his channel. Pixel Dan told The Verge on Wednesday, so if the FETC decides that we are indeed targeting children. We'll be fine. That is frightening. It's especially scary because a bird bitch of kid directed versus kid attractive is, isn't very clear. He continue. It's hard to know if we are in violent or violation or not. Chosen children's adversary no, advocacy. Groups like Common Sense feel that the rules don't go far enough and that placing most of the burden on creators rather than YouTube itself won't do enough to protect kids online. However, the rules are entirely consistent with, that you, with what YouTube is required to do under this settlement order. Ariel Johnson, Common Sense Senior, senior Senior, of course. Council, counselor, do Council of policy and the privacy told the verge. Okay, I have enough. No. 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 This stupid idea they made. Like, what the hell? Okay, I'm sorry I had to say it. That, because if kids are still watching it, this video is not put on setting. Well, oh. But, but come on, they already have another YouTube website called YouTube Kids. Don't tell me they're going to make this out of the kids' website too. They already got one. 
Do they ever understand? What? They're going to make old websites as kids now? Come on! And what? Cartoon Network is not going to have it. Those are popular shows, but rather shows now with baby kids or anything show stuff. Come on. What the? Even FX or every other website? What the heck? You're all mad as well. Not at me, but at these people who tried to make this worse for YouTube. And mostly I know this or YouTuber, I, I watched his videos, and he's right along. That 2019 is, is getting much worse than 2018. And he's right! He's right! Like, not explaining about it, but... He is right about it. About you, that YouTube is not gonna be good at all in this year. And he's right! Good job! But oh well. So... Next year in January... Probably the first day of January, I guess, but... If this happens... If it is going to change my channel, they're going to force me to do it. Then I had no choice to leave, folks. Just leave this YouTube. And Jeffrey 2 won't happen, nor the Soul of Michael, or other My God movies or series I'm working on. And not sure how the voice actors the cats are going to feel about this. Ugh. Not if they're disappointed at me, but they're disappointed at YouTube, or the, the Verge. Please. Children that have a group like Common Sense or whatever they call it. I really hate this. I don't like how the future is going to be like, folks. If there was a thing about Time Stone or Time Machine, if I would just go back in time to start over, start in 2010 to continue to make things a little bit longer before 2019 happened or to 2020. If that might happen, if there was a Time Machine for once. So I guess they a little bit good YouTube for once in 2010. If there was. But there ain't. But now, and I'm finding this now. This is serious, folks. I am still uploading videos right now. But in 2020, in January, I might leave. If nothing didn't happen on my YouTube channel in 2020 on January, if nothing didn't bad, anything happened, then I might still stay in cha in the channel. But if they truly did, then I might leave. Oh well, folks. Have nothing to say right now. If you folks have any other videos or if you folks have any comments, you can leave them down below and I'll check them. And you all might agree, and I might agree on you folks as well, that you really hate how they truly do this to YouTube and all of us. And all the popular YouTubers we all know. Oh well, folks. I don't know if I might still be here. Nor any of you folks, too. Sorry. This is Lord of Flames here. And I will see you in another time. I think.